grew up in racist families. But we knew it was wrong to judge anyone by any criteria besides their character. But studying the Bible with black friends did more than anything else to help us see our own prejudices and to love fellow Christians of different races, not just blacks, but Hispanics, Indian, many others who share our love for Christ. It began for me in the 80s when a group of black women joined our Bible study. I was the teaching leader at the time, and soon several of those black women were asked to train as leaders in our leaders group. In time, we planted a whole class in a majority black neighborhood, and we met in a majority black church. When I was the teacher there, probably 80% of our leaders and women who attended were black. Well, I bonded with these women, and as the teaching leader, I learned all kinds of things about the black culture. I learned what it meant to pick the greens, which we did for our end of semester celebration. At first, I assumed that it meant we would go out to someone's farm and pick them. The women had a great laugh over that. It actually means that you sit around in someone's kitchen and you pull the stems off the greens for hours and hours and hours and then you take all of these greens, you put them in a big pot, lots of huge pots, and they boil down to almost nothing. I must admit that greens are an acquired taste. I did trade my pumpkin pie for my sister's sweet potato pie at Thanksgiving and we all enjoyed the experience. But more than anything else, I learned to love my black sisters and their families. We prayed together every week, and their concerns became my concerns. And when an issue came up that involved racism and affected their families, well, I took a, a much different interest than I had before. Race should never be used as an excuse for bad behavior but neither should it be used to pigeonhole people or mistreat them. I suppose the race issue will be with us until Christ returns, but the church is called to do better with racism because we are redeemed. We have an important part to play in this issue. The more I became sensitized to the issue of race, the more I began to see race in the scriptures. I see it in passages like the Good Samaritan and the woman at the well. If you don't include race in your understanding of what's going on, you miss important truths in the Bible. Did you know that the first leaders of the church of Antioch were a diverse group? There were Jews and Romans and a couple of blacks. You can see who they are in Acts 13.1 if you study that passage carefully. Our neighbors are all around us, close and far. Many are different from us, but all made in the image of God and all reflecting God's marvelous creativity. If God is such a fan of diversity, well, we ought to be too. So befriend some people who are different from you. It's going to add color to your life. It will enlarge your heart. And I just know that Jesus will be